let's talk about 14.6, which is a chapter on tangent plane and differentials. This chapter, there's a lot of stuff in this chapter, actually. It's going to be split up, I think, into two videos. This first video, we're going to talk about just tangent planes. And then the next video, we're going to talk about uh, linearization and, I think, uh, an approximation question. Yeah, okay. Um, those two are different from the tangent plane stuff I'm talking about right now. And let's then consider the following problem as I pull it up on my own screen. Uh, yeah, so this will be 14.6.8. And yeah, we'll just keep that in red for now. And what's the problem 14.6.8? Well, we want to find the tangent plane to uh, x squared plus y squared minus 2xy minus x plus 3y minus z is equal to negative 4. Okay. And, and we have the point then uh, 2, negative 3, 18. Okay. So how do we find the tangent plane? Well, in order to find the tangent plane, what we need to do is to find uh, the, the, the gradient, right? So this is a function that has only a constant on the right-hand side. So we can find the gradient, right? Because it's, it's of this form, f of x, y, z is equal to some constant, right? So that's, that's, okay, so we can find the gradient. So the gradient of f is going to be, what is this? This is 2x minus 2y minus 1. And then dy is going to be 2y minus 2x plus 3. And dz is negative 1. All right. And, okay, now we've got to evaluate it at 2, negative 3, 18. And I get, what do I get? I get 2, 4 plus 6 minus 1, that's 9. Here I get negative 6 minus 4, negative 10 plus 3, negative 7. And then negative one evaluated anywhere is just negative one. All right, so this is my tangent plane, or, or this is this is uh, my gradient. And so what is a tangent plane, right? So remember plane, and I hope I hammer this into your guys' heads, we need a normal and we got a point, right? So a tangent plane then is going to be some surface, I don't know if this is, this is a surface or not, right? Where the plane is tangent at a point. And so, well obviously, the tangent plane has to be tangent at this point given, right? Because that's where we're evaluating it. So we have the point, and now we need to find what the normal is. Well, the good thing, the good news, is that the gradient evaluated at the point, this is the normal of the tangent plane. All right. So now we have a normal, which is this guy, and we have a point, which is P, and we can find our equation. So we have 9x minus 7y minus z is equal to uh, d, right? And then so 9 times 2 minus 7 times negative 3 minus 18, which is z, is equal to d. And so I got 18 minus 21 or plus 21 minus 18 is equal to d. And so d is going to be equal to 21 and therefore, my tangent plane is going to be 9x minus 7y minus z is equal to 21. And that's my tangent plane. Okay? So that's a way to calculate tangent planes. However, right, so, that, so, so this is the way we calculate tangent planes when we have this. When we have a function of, you know, variables is equal to c. And in two dimensions, this will be a tangent line, okay, because we won't have the gradient for z. So in two dimensions, uh, there's no z, and we'll get the tangent line. In three dimensions, we get the tangent plane. Okay. However, we can do this another way. And this is because this equation up here, right, this equation right here can be rewritten as z is equal to uh, x squared plus y squared minus 2xy minus x plus 3y plus 4. Right, because we can rewrite it if I just move the z over to this side, I move the four over to this side, right? I can rewrite my equation like this. So now I have z equal to some function of x, f of x and y. And in this case, we can also 
calculate the tangent plane and it might you might think it's a little easier eh, it, it really doesn't matter um, but what we want to do here then is I want to take the partial of X all right and I want to find the partial of Y so the partial of F ends up being 2x minus 2y minus 1 and the partial of y is 2y minus 2x plus 3 okay um, now what okay so now we want to evaluate this uh, we want to evaluate this partial derivatives well okay so now we have fx fy and so the tangent plane then is equal to f of x evaluated at f x naught y naught times x minus x naught plus f of y times x naught y naught times y minus y naught minus z minus z naught is equal to zero okay so the point p is going to be x naught y naught z naught and what do i do okay so f of x evaluated at the point is equal to uh, so what was my point my point was 2 3 2 negative 3 18 right something like that uh, I don't remember yeah 2 negative 3 18 okay and so f of x then is evaluated at 2 negative 3 so this is 4 minus 6 which is hold on that, that doesn't seem right uh, 2x 2x minus 2y minus 1 oh yeah minus 1 so this is this is 9 and fy at x naught y naught right so again I value 2 comma 3 so 2 um, or negative 6 minus 4 that's going to be negative 10 plus 3 this is negative 7 and so what is this then this is equal to right this guy was 9 times x minus x naught is 2 all right, plus f of y, which is negative 7, times uh, y minus y naught, so y plus 3, minus z minus z naught, z minus, well, 18, equal to 0. And now we get 9x minus 18, plus negative 7y minus 21, minus z plus 18 is equal to 0. And solving for the constants, I get 9x minus 7y minus z is equal to, those cancel out, minus, and here you get a minus 21, so if I move it over to the right-hand side, it becomes a plus 21, and we get the exact same equation as above, okay? So you have two ways of doing it. You can write, you can do it with this uh, gradient way, which I do think is easier. Um, especially since we're super used to this uh, plane calculated with a normal line of point. Or you can do it with this explicit way when we have z is equal to f of x comma y. Um, and then you can let the tangent plane be equal to this thing right here. So that's, that's, uh, that's it for tangent planes. And in the next video, then we'll talk about what, what, what I was going to say. Talk about, we're going to talk about linearizations and approximations. Yeah, okay, that sounds about right. And yeah, I'll see you next video.